Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like, and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. Oh, some people love the smell of frangipanis. For me, I love the smell of bait. Yes, we are here at Anaconda checking out the bait section. So much bait in there to catch just about any species on the planet. Now, you might have seen these tweed bait freezers just about everywhere across the eastern seaboard, of course, including here at Anaconda. But have you ever wondered how the good old Australian pilchard came to be in these packets? Well, it's all about per se netting. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna show you on today's episode. It's bright and early. It's about 3 a.m. Think of the crew. They've been down here for an hour preparing the boat all ready to head out to sea. Well, we need to get out there before sunrise. Got a bit of a trip ahead of us. Let's go. How do you find the fish? Our main one is the sonar. Yep. This is the sonar on now. We're searching at 800 metres. And it's an omni sonar, so it's going, so you've got a 360 degree update. So it's updating about uh, three times per second at right. the moment. Right. Um, so you've got a full picture of 1.6K, covering 1.6K, you know, 800 metres each side. That's incredible. So we're looking yeah. 800 metres either side of the vessel. Right around the whole vessel. Wow. Yeah, so that's we, our weight. There's our weight. Unbelievable. So yeah. we can see on here the fish that are out there, then you know to turn port starboard yeah. and yeah. head to the fish and away you go. Yeah. When it comes to Persein netting, how sustainable is it for you guys to be out here all the time? Oh, it's a massive stock, you know. I'd hate to say, I'd give you a figure, but it's a massive stock and there's only, well, here there's um, three boats fishing it. You're only just just touching the edges of it because you're only out there, like you said, shooting your nets realistically for maybe an hour or two before yeah, sun up and then, right. and then it's all over and over. So it's all hands on deck now. So these rings that Peter's doing, they need to slide onto that pole. That's going to basically bring all the fish into the scoop of the net and then bring them up to the back here. But I'll tell you what, it is absolutely fascinating to see how this is done. And the beauty is, there's been zero bycatch of anything. So it's just that schooling pilchards that we're targeting that we've got in the bottom of the net. Can't wait to see it. Pete, tell me how important it is to keep Australian seafood here in Australia to catch our own locally caught oh, projects. Look, I'm a totally fan of Australian fish, you know. It's very important because it just shows from the viruses, from the white spot that you got for the prawns, from the viruses 20 odd years ago when we, when all the pilchards died, when an imported virus came in and killed all our pilchards, you know, they killed 80% of the stock 20 years ago. And it's, it's taken a long time to recover. It's recovered beautifully now. Mate, tell me about the floats here. What have we got now? We're coming up towards the tail end of the uh, Yeah, we're the getting net. closer. We're gonna make sure we get these floats away from the, from the... So I'll just turn the thruster on there. Probably let's type the ready. Uh, the floats aren't around the, around the bow too far, get caught up in the thruster, but... Yep. Oh no, there they are. So do we have to pull up the bottom of the net to Yeah, to no, the bottom it? of the net's already up. This is the bottom of the net here. Right. So the net, bottom of the net's up. The fish are sitting out there in the middle. Watch your hand. This is going to go. Yep. Um, it's just a matter of... We've got the thruster going, stern thruster going flat out. We've got the bow thruster going to keep the net open. If you keep the net open, the chance of the fish diving is a lot less. Right. They like open space, they like swimming around, you know.
so now the net's been pulled up. Basically all of the pilchards are in one confined area, so they just use a large scoop. There's around 200 kilograms per scoop being winched out using the large crane up here. In this particular haul, we've caught around six tonne of beautiful East Coast pilchards. Unbelievable. So that's it, have a look at that. Beautiful firm pilchard, still kicking. Imagine that on a hook, oh my God. But once they've got the fish all caught up here, they've loaded them up into these ice slurries. So it goes from around 25 degree water temperature at the moment uh, into sort of like a minus 18 or so. From there, these tubs are then packed up and taken to the co-op. You, my friend, you get to live another day. So the fish have been in these ice slurries for about an hour now. From here, they're taken off the boat onto the tweed bait trucks where they're going over to the co-op at Iluka. They're put into a brine here, and from there, they're taken up to the co-op at Tweed Heads where they're packaged, ready for your local freezer. And of course, thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe, and of course, comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.